Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're checking out an RC race boat. So I don't review a lot of boats on my channel. It's a drone channel, but in the summertime, it gets really hot and we have beautiful beaches out here. And a lot of people ask me about RC boats. So every now and then I review an RC boat. So what I did is I contacted Banggood and I said, send me your most popular RC boats. The one that have the highest approval rating that are not super expensive that are the best of the best that a person could buy. Because a lot of times when you're looking for an RC boat, you don't have a clue what to buy and you buy something cheap. Banggood sent me a few boats and this is one of them. This is called the UDIRC and it's called the 005 or I'm just gonna call it the Aero because on the side it's written Aero 5. Let me bring it close in and tell you about it. So it's a very sleek looking boat. It has a brushless motor inside. It runs on a 3S LiPo battery. The battery is included. On the back, you have a beautiful, super thick uh, shaft here for the prop. It is water cooled as you would expect. It does have a rated speed of 50 kilometers per hour. And let me show you the remote control. The included remote is apparently supposed to get you 150 meters of range. Let me get my head in here, 150 meters of range. And not only that, it's supposed to have two sensors in the remote and the actual boat to tell you your battery's low, so it will beep or it's gonna tell you you're getting out of range, you might wanna turn around and it will let you know that on here as well with, with the beeping sound. I don't know, I haven't tried it. Now, the best thing about this boat, when I asked Banggood, I said, send me boats that are great for beginners. So they said, well, for beginners, the boats you're gonna want are boats that self right If they get upside down out in the water, they will self right So this is one of those boats. It's got a double hull system. If I take the top off here, just to show you, you see, there's a second hull inside, so water doesn't get inside. The best thing about this boat is it's very inexpensive. It's under $200, like just over a hundred bucks, at least the last time I checked. I think it's on sale right now. And you do get the three cell LiPo battery with it. And this battery is a 2,600 milliamp hour LiPo battery with an XT60 connector. That's what we use in the hobby. That's the best connector to get because you can use this in anything. So yeah, if you already have batteries with XT60 connectors, you can use them in here. And if not, one comes with it for the price. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out along my river here and drive it up and down just to see how fast it is. No one's out. It's early morning. It is super hot. It's like oh, over 30 degrees Celsius right now. So I'm not going to last too long out here. First thing I'm going to do learning this from experience is I'm going to take my shoes off because I am going to have to get my legs and feet in the water. And in the past, I have walked into the water with my shoes on. So these are coming off. And I want to warn you now, do not adjust your white balance. Yes, this is the color of my legs. All right, first things first, let's power on the remote. There we go, this is powered on. Next, we just have to connect the battery in the boat. You can see how it's locked here. You'll see this on the unboxing. Makes a tight seal. Connect the XT60 connectors together and life is good. There we go, they're all connected. Lock this back in place so water doesn't get back in and put on the top portion to keep even more water out. So on the back here, our rudder should move. There we go, and our motor. All right, let's go drive this. All right, let's plop this down in the water and uh, see how it does. All right, so I can see already it leans to the side of the battery, but when it gets moving, it should be fine. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> It really corners. Holy cow. Now I know why people like it. Ooh, I had to get out of the way. Whoa, this thing corners. Watch this. I'm going to make it corner. Look at that. Curl around here. Going around the GoPro. Try not to hit myself. Look at that. That is incredible. <gasps> Oh, I'm getting soaking wet here. Okay, let's bring it slow. Let's see if you can drive it slow. So if you want to drive it slow, drive slow. Bring it out here. My cameras are all, lenses are all full of water, I'm sure. But here, I got to go in slow now. And it also has a reverse. There we go. Well, of course, reverse, you're, you're just pushing against the rear, but at least you have something. And you can steer it in reverse. Uh, let's try the flip over thing. So I'm going to put it upside down right here and let's see what it does. So let's see, we're in the water. We, I don't know, we hit a wave or something. She's upside down. Normally to flip them over, you just hit the little throttle and you cause it to rock. So all I have to do is that and do the back and forth and then she'll flip over. So here we go. 
There we go. So this is a little GoPro session. It's very old. It's not very good, but it is waterproof and it does weigh quite a bit. I am going to stick it on the nose of this boat and I'm hoping two things will happen. One is that it's not too heavy that it doesn't cause the nose to sink down because then it won't drive very well. And the second thing is that it doesn't fall off and I lose it because then that's gone. So I think it won't go very fast with this on the front, but uh, let's give it a shot. Well, it's moving. It's a moving, it's going. Let's try to go full blast right now. There's full blast. The nose is being held down with that GoPro on the front. So this is what you get. Should certainly run smooth, even with the GoPro up there. That is pretty cool. Whoa, and I'm upside down. She's upside down because it smashed into the beach. See if you can flip it with a GoPro on it. Oh, I can flip it with the GoPro. Pretty cool. Whoa, I just killed my GoPro. <laughs> I smashed my GoPro. Uh oh, that's not good. Pull you back up. Any damage? Not too much damage. No, it <laughs> just looks like I hit it pretty hard though. I'm gonna take the GoPro off and try something else. I'm very curious about a different camera. This is a little Insta360 Go. It is water resistant, not waterproof, but uh, I'm gonna try it on the front. It's very light and hopefully I don't lose this one. Actually, I'm not gonna put it on the front. I'm gonna put it on the top right here. Let's see like this. Maybe we get a different view. Here we go. If you're seeing any video, it means it works and it, I didn't lose it. So uh, here we go. This is the Insta360 Go and uh, let's see what it does. <laughs> at, least the, at least the boat is a little lighter now for it and it should drive normally. Okay, it should be like a rocket. So that should be faster. There she goes. Let me reverse this camera so it shoots out the back and you can see the rooster tail. All right, let's bring it on back. Bring it on home, up the beach. <laughs> there goes my camera. Oops, that was a bad idea. Next thing I wanna show you about this really cool boat is what comes in the box, so check it out. Here's the box, your Aero 5 comes in and when you take it out of the box, it looks like this. And I will say it is one of the nicer looking boats on the market. You can see the tail end is comprised of plastic and metal components. Here we can see the internal electronics. You have the ESC, the receiver, the brushless motor, and the servo. A 2600 milliamp hour LiPo battery, 3S, is included with XT60 connector as well as the charger. The included remote control has all the features you'll require. Please note that you will need four AA batteries to power it. Here you can see other items that are included in the box. Finally, an instruction manual is included. All right, checking out the inside. There's drops of water inside, but there's no like pools of water. You know, it's just the water that's coming off the outside. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery now because I'm finished. And there we go. We're all done. And uh, I guess I should give you my final thoughts. Now, I want everybody to remember I don't drive a lot of RC boats. And RC boats are, you know, you can be a beginner and do an RC boat because they are so easy to drive. Just be careful. Something like this, it's so fast. Uh, be careful that there's nobody else in the water around you because this little nose, ooh, that would hurt if you got that in any part of the body. So I have to say, this thing is a blast to drive. I had fun out here. I did have a spectator of an audience of kids over there who were checking it out because they thought it was pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put links below to where you can find this. Once again, Banggood said it was one of the most popular. And popularity, once again, goes by price, features, 
and user reviews. So this has one of the highest um, yeah, samples of user comments and reviews. They love this thing and it's at the best price. And if you watch videos on YouTube of this, because it's been out for a little while, uh, everybody, it's like a thumbs up for everybody. So they sent it to me. I'm showing it to you guys. I had a lot of fun out here. I'm getting a sunburn, so I got to go in. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. But I appreciate that if you have questions on the boat. There's not much I can tell you. It's pretty basic, standard, straightforward, uh, but ask them anyways and I'll tell you all about it. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, well then stay tuned for more videos on boats and other RC products coming in the future. All right guys, get to the next video. Bye.